Welcome to Cooking with Jerry. We are doing another raw food salad, which will be my lunch. Here I have the vegetables, and I have another top three list to share with you by Dr. Stephen Gundry. G-U-N-D-R-Y. I found him for the first time last week. And he's got a lot of really good videos that I recommend you watch. So we'll get to that, but first, let's get started with the salad. Here I have two pieces of celery. Now yesterday's video I grated everything, but today we're going to use a knife. Just so that you can see that you don't need to grate the vegetables to make a salad. Um, but with the raw food salad, there's a lot more chewing. Um, so I like to make the pieces as small as possible, without exaggerating, just to make it easier on my jaw, so that there's not so much work. All these vegetables have been washed already and I think it's important if you're going to use the leaf of the celery, which I like to use, leaf, uh, leafy greens are really good for the gut flora. Uh, I think it's important to make them as small as possible because our teeth don't do a good job at grinding through the leaf. So just to make it easier for the eating process and the digestion process, these pieces are small. So that's the first ingredient going into the bowl. Next ingredient is I have a small piece of broccoli and uh, I want to cut the broccoli stalk fairly small pieces but I will leave the flower uh, intact. I'll just make them into smaller pieces. And I can show you the method I use. I don't want to cut right through the flour because then you have all these little flour bits so I just go with my knife about halfway through and then splitting it apart with the knife on one side and my fingers on the other side and I try to make them into bite-sized pieces so it's easier to uh, pick up with the spoon or fork and put into the mouth. Some of the pieces are already small enough so they can just go right in and then sometimes I'll cut that piece of stock that gets revealed once you clean it of the uh, flour. Here's a piece of pumpkin I really enjoy the pumpkin. For me, it's kind of like a sweet vegetable. And I have nine pumpkin plants. Well, they're not pumpkin. One is a pumpkin, I think. I say I think because I pulled it out of the compost pit. After I saw it growing there, I had cleared the compost pit and then I noticed it about a week later. So I am guessing it's a pumpkin. The other ones are like a zucchini crossed with butternut squash. A friend gave me from his other property uh, a few of these squash. And they looked uh, like a zucchini, uh, but the inside, the consistency, the color, the flavor, was more like butternut squash. So I saw the first flower last week and yesterday I saw two more flowers. Uh, speaking of the plants, I'm pointing where they are, uh, not too far from my kitchen. The pumpkin also gives it a nice 
color otherwise it would be all green so now there's the nice yellowish orange from the pumpkin here I have romaine lettuce I washed it's important I think to wash especially at the core because that's where the dirt sand particles pieces can collect as the plant grows uh, and if you don't clean it properly, you're just going to have crunchy bitefuls, which happens sometimes. So I'm going to cut lengthwise a little bit, same kind of thinking as the celery leaves. The teeth don't do a really good job at grinding. And just making the pieces small. goes into the bowl and uh, here I have a ripe avocado the top is a little bit black so I'm just going to remove that and then I cut around the middle as evenly as possible and then just twisting it it opens yeah normally it opens easier but I did feel something inside with the knife so I'm not sure this one is not going to open there we go and then with the knife just make a a slight cut and then you can twist it and the nut should pop out I think this is happening because maybe the avocado is not quite ready not quite at its optimum ripeness but uh, I've opened it here there's a piece of the nut I am just going to peel off and then with a spoon I am going to go around yeah no the problem is it's not quite ready so I am just going to use the knife to peel the skin off there we go and I'll use the knife also to just cut it up into smaller pieces I think I should have waited one more day for this avocado and because it's not quite right there will be a little bit of bitter uh, while eating this avocado sometimes you know I can also peel the skin of the avocado with a vegetable peeler I've done that before and then slicing the avocado with the vegetable peeler you get these really fine thin slices and I, if you cook them they will kind of melt and dissolve into the water or whatever you're cooking so here I got the nut out, there's a bit of the nut skin, so I'll remove that. Cutting the avocado in half, and then removing the peel or skin. Avocado is really great for uh, many reasons very tasty loaded with nutrition good fats good oils a lot of people talk about superfood and I think the avocado is one of those superfoods there are two avocado trees just on the other side of uh, this barrier there's a passageway from the main 
road to the river and there are two or three avocado trees and I noticed this morning checking it out that the avocados are about the size of pears now whereas when I first saw them they were the size of strawberries so I will clear out the area underneath those trees so that I can see when the avocado falls and I will get free avocado. There will likely be some bugs etc that have entered into many of the avocado that drop because there's no pesticide, no spray that gets on these trees which is great. Same kind of thing, there are two orange trees and almost every orange has uh, some kind of insect that has made its way inside the orange and there are these little tiny orange worms that I see many times. So that's it. Now here I have uh, just a very small handful of cranberries and yellow raisins and I think there's one purple raisin. I just put them in the same bag and I grab them when I want them. It's just a small handful. It'll give a little bit of sweetness. And here is anchovies. Looks like an anchovy paste. First time trying it. Uh, fresh fish is much better, but because I'm in a village and I don't have a fridge, I'm trying different kinds of canned fish to see what is okay. Uh, so I drained the salt water, the brine from this and I'm putting it into the bowl. I've mentioned before, I've learned through these various media, reading or video, when you decide what fish to eat, it's better to go with the smaller fish because they have a lower concentration of mercury and it's better to get the wild fish compared to uh, the farmed fish. And then I have here some coarse grain pink salt. I am going to put three pinches And I am going to put extra virgin olive oil. Excuse my hand, I have to wash it. It's full of avocado. Extra virgin olive oil. And something new I found in the city for the first time. This is Brazil nut extra virgin cold pressed. There we go. What Stephen Gundry says, um, the reason why you eat something is so that you get oil, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil into your stomach. Uh, and all the other, not all the other, but many of the other extra virgin oils are also very good. I have right now behind me an extra virgin coconut oil, uh, extra virgin sacha inchi oil, the extra virgin olive oil, this extra virgin Brazil nut oil, and I have also that I will use mainly for cooking salted butter and just regular virgin olive oil. I want to put a little bit more of the extra virgin olive oil because it looks a little bit dry. So let's get to this list uh, from Dr. Stephen Gundry. He's got a podcast. Really lots of good information. The three fake foods you need to stop eating. Number one, fast food. Uh, a lot of people know that fast food isn't so healthy. There are some healthier options at most fast food restaurants now. 
but most of the food is really not so healthy. It's processed. A lot of the unhealthy vegetable oils, he mentions soy and corn oil being something to avoid and the use of pesticides and uh, destroying the gut microbiome. And he gives an example, uh, a sur not a survey, a test was done on french fries. Uh, this was conducted in Italy for eight years and it found that people who eat french fries more than twice a week had double the chance of heart disease and cancer compared to the people who eat french fries less than twice a week. So french fries uh, in the traditional method uh, at a fast food restaurant or even many other of the sit-down slow food restaurants, the oil that they're using for the french fries is not very fresh and it's likely one of the cheaper oils if you're doing it at home it would be different and there was one interview uh, Lewis Howes was the interviewer and they both uh, enjoy the fry the the air fry method saying that it's much healthier and it tastes like regular french fries I've never tried it, so I don't know Number two, a fake food to stop eating. Most sugar-free and low-calorie drinks. Uh, sucralose and aspartame kill the gut bacteria. And it says one packet of sucralose, one of those small packets you see at many restaurants, killed 50%, that's 5-0, 50% of the gut bacteria. So best to avoid uh, even regular sugar soft drinks. Uh, just so much sugar. And number three is peanut butter. Uh, mentioning about the lectin because 95% of people are born with an immune system that's against lectin. So when lectin enters the body, the immune system sees it as an invader, as something that the body doesn't want. And he goes on to say that peanut butter is very processed, lots of sugar, additives, and preservatives. Now, I really like peanut butter, but I choose the unsugar kind, and uh, peanuts in this area are local. Uh, but it's still processed, so I'm not sure. When I was in the city, I didn't buy any more peanut butter, uh, even though I really like it. So I'm going to try without the peanut butter. Um, it's processed, it's roasted, and whenever you roast uh, a peanut, you're changing the chemistry. I have uh, heard and read uh, Sadhguru, who is an Indian uh, spiritual guide, he's got lots of great YouTube videos. He says that if the peanuts are soaked overnight in water, then it's okay to eat. So I did still buy some peanuts when I was in the city a few days ago. And I will use the Indian philosophy and soak those peanuts overnight before I eat them. And his suggestion, Dr. Stephen Gundry, is as many of the experts say, is stick to whole foods. He mentions avocados, he mentions leafy greens, and he mentions berries when they're in season, which is usually the fall, depending on where you are. And the last important point I will share that I learned through Dr. Stephen Gundry is it's best to avoid vegetables and food that's in the nightshade family. And the ones I can remember are potatoes, eggplant, tomato, and the sweet bell peppers. With the tomato and the bell pepper, if you remove the skin and the seeds, 
then it's much better uh, for digestion. Uh, I might have missed some food that's in the nightshade family, but if you're curious, you can check it out. So there we go, raw food salad number two. This will be my lunch. I am uh, looking forward to it. And uh, lots of different ingredients you can put. Once I put an apple that I chopped up, lots of different veggies. I almost put banana as a first time experiment. But I don't want to put banana right now. Maybe next time. And uh, when I eat raw food, uh, first of all, as I mentioned, there's a lot more chewing involved, so my jaw does get a little bit tired. Uh, but I digest it really quickly, really well. Uh, I feel light, my stomach doesn't feel so heavy, so overworked, compared to uh, when I eat the regular cooked food. So please try it, experiment with the different vegetables, leafy greens are good, cauliflower would be good. If you want tomato, try and remo remove the skin and the seeds, same thing with the bell peppers. If you're someone who likes to eat meat, bacon would be great in this, uh, cheese. Uh, you could also put leftover meat. Um, Tuna would probably be very tasty, but tuna is on the higher end of that food chain, which means it's going to have a much higher concentration of mercury. So anyways, um, please try it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon.